Hi everyone, I am Amisar Oja and welcome to the Simply Learn YouTube channel. And before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel, like the tutorial and hit the bell button to never miss an update. Today, we are gonna automate WhatsApp using Python by Pivot Kit Library and with the help of ChatGPT. And before starting, I have a quiz question for you guys. And your question is, how much did Meta? that is formerly Facebook, spend to acquire WhatsApp in 2014. And your options are, your first option is $10 billion, second option is $19 billion, third option is $20 billion, and the fourth option is $21 billion. Please answer in the comment section below and we'll update the correct answer in the pinned comment. You can pause the video, give it a thought and answer in the comment section. So moving on. Now we'll move to create a project. So first we'll create a folder for a project and for that we will create a folder in Python projects. And we'll name it as automate WhatsApp using chat JPD. Okay. And inside this, we'll open the command prompt and open our ID. That is, we want to automate the WhatsApp using Python and with the help of chat JPD. We won't write the code on our own. We will ask chat JPD to automate it. We will create the file and name it as main.py. And now we'll move to chat GPT and ask chat GPT to write a code to send messages through WhatsApp using Python and the Pivot Kit library. So we'll give a command send message through WhatsApp using Python and by what kit let's see what chat JPD responds to us and we have also created the automate whatsapp using python video i will just link in the i button you can check that out and we'll see what chat JPD tells us okay similar Country code message minutes, yeah, it could work. And first, you need to install the Pivot Kit library by running pip install Pivot Kit in your terminal or command prompt. Okay, replace target phone number with the target phone number you want to send the message to. Country code with the country code of the target phone number, message with the message you want to send r with the r in 24 hour format and you want to send message and minute with the minute you want to send the message okay for example yeah okay for it so we'll copy this code and paste in our id but before that first you need to install the pivot kit library and for that you can go to the command prompt and Write the command pip space install space pivot kit and press enter. It states that the requirement is already satisfied as I've already installed this module and you can install it by writing the simple command and you'll get it installed. And if you face any error in installing it, just comment down and we would be very happy to resolve your queries. Okay, so as chat GPT states, we will just enter the 
things it want from us so it's asking the target phone number and the country code without plus sign okay so here we'll just write all the things but uh, as you can see it has also given us an example to see and work on the code so here we'll just clear it i will write the phone number to whom i want to send the message so it would be and i would just blur this number so you guys won't be able to see okay and here we'll just add the country code and that is without plus sign okay so my country code is you can search it that is i live in india and the message i want to send to him is hello how are you and now we'll set the hour and minute so the current time is 15 14 so we'll set Sixteen. Okay. We'll save this and run it. So it says that the country code is missing. So we'll just copy the error and give it to chat jpd as we are taking the help of chat jpd in this video so he has given us the code so we'll just provide the error to him let's see what it states if it's not able to resolve this then we will resolve it country code present the phone number you're trying to send okay Yes, and the country code is 91 to send the message correctly you need to make sure okay hmm one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah mention nine in the person i provided the provided phone number is this and the country code is 91 okay you need to make sure that the country code is prefixed to the phone number like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Uh, okay. We don't have to make it a string. Yeah. Now we'll run it again. Okay, it's a string only. So I will write the phone number again. This one, two, three. Okay, now we'll see and what I will do. I will write the country code here. We'll save this and the time is fifteen seventeen now. So we'll just turn it to fifteen eighteen. Save this and run it. 
so our code has been executed successfully that is in 20 seconds whatsapp will open and after 15 seconds message will be delivered so we just have to see that we have enter the time as 15 18 is the seconds available for the code to get executed yeah it has opened the whatsapp it will take time as my whatsapp has loads of chats and contacts yeah i have to scan it i don't think it would be able as we have reached the 15 18 yeah i've scanned it let's see if it will deliver the message or not else we have to change the time so we just have to wait for 15 seconds let's see <clears throat> just stop the terminal and run it again for 15 21 so we'll save this and run it again so it states that in 85 seconds whatsapp will open and after 15 seconds message will be delivered so we'll get fast forwarded here So we are still waiting. Let's see when it will open the WhatsApp. Okay, it states that the phone number shared by URL is invalid. Okay, I'll just check the phone number again. Okay, I entered the wrong phone number. <sighs> Sorry, guys. So I will just update the time again and it would be 1522 we will make it fast we will run this ok it says that the call time must be greater than so we will write 1523 save it we will make the time as 1527 save it and run it Okay, it states that in 40 seconds WhatsApp will open and after 15 seconds message will be delivered. It has opened the WhatsApp. And it has started the chat. Okay, it has return the and we have sent it to hello how are you that's good and now with that we have come to the end of this session and i hope the session was interesting and informative if you liked it please let us know in the comment section below and also do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more from simply learn 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.